Aries, it's Jackie from Sacred Journeys. How are you? How's your weekend? Well, actually, we're going to find out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just like, uh, we're doing the weekend reading. We're going to find out how the weekend's going to be. <laughs> okay, it's all good, right? It's all good. And you've already got one jumping out. So, Aries, your first, <gasps> your first card is the Page of Water. So, it looks like you may be meeting someone or you're going to be getting some love notes. Some love text. So this energy feels so good, but it does. It's like talking about meeting new people. A new energy is walking into your life this weekend. Or a relationship enters into a new phase. So that's good too, right? And, of course, Aries, it's time to tap into your own intuition if um, you are willing to do so. Always be tapped into your higher self, the creator of all that is. So you're going to meet lots of people. You want to make sure that you're talking to the right people, you know, the ones that resonate with you. And you'll recognize them because of how you feel around them, how your body responds to them, and how your heart responds. Ah, oh, that feels good. I love this card, Aries. I love this card. So, yeah, that's fun. You're going to meet some new people. What else is coming up this weekend? Oh, and this is for April 14, 15, and 16, just so you know. Ah, oh, my God, Aries, look, the Ten of Water. This is beautiful. So you're going to have a fabulous weekend, feels like. You're going to have lots of fun with friends and family. You're going to feel so good. You're going to just feel complete, right? You are complete. And that, Leah, let's clarify that, Aries. You are complete. So if there's any part of you that's feeling incomplete because maybe you're single or because, because of whatever, just please take that part out. Love that part. Give that part just some affection and attention. And let them know that you're not incomplete in any way. Okay? I just wanted to throw that in there. Because sometimes we seek external validation when we really... Everything we need is right here. And it's fun to have extra people to play with, right? But if we are seeking validation or if we're feeling like we have to fill ourselves up with other energies externally, then that that's never going to work because people can't fill us up. They can't. That's too much pressure to try to put on someone. So just know that you and your beautiful divine self are complete. You're filled with beauty and love and light. And tap into your higher self and tap into creator. Everything you need is already within you. And you are feeling good this weekend. You're going to meet someone new. So that is important if you're meeting someone new that you feel good already. Otherwise, you're going to feel that uh, needy vibe, you know, and you can feel it. I mean, it's nice. It's, it's like it's nice to be wanted, but it's kind of when you can feel that there's like something deeper going on that makes people shy away. So please make sure that your heart is complete and filled with yourself and with creator first and then the right people will find you because if you're not if you're not oh wow okay sorry i just got this if you're not feeling complete there are people out there who will take advantage of you okay so please do your own work aries i'm sure you are because you're fiery you're passionate and powerful and i know that and i love that about you however if we're feeling incomplete there's going to be tons of people who would love to steal your fire and use it for their own good and then just let you burn out and they walk away. So please take care of yourself, take care of your boundaries, and make sure that your fire is from within, right? Stoke your own fire. And, okay, last card is the Emperor. I like this card, Archangel Michael. I love him. And so the Emperor is talking about, yeah, it could be... It could be a couple different things. So this weekend is going to be about you, again, more dialing yourself in, leading yourself, directing yourself into where it is that you're going, what it is that you want, who it is that you want to be with, who do you want to be, how do you want to show up? Because this is talking about leadership, logic, structure, discipline, right? Organization. So what is it that you're working on? Are you working on a career plan? Are you working on your five-year goals? I mean, what is it that you're doing? It's just an encouragement to keep doing your thing and have some um, have some structure, a little bit of structure. I'm not saying be like 
down um, rigid, that's no fun. But a little bit of structure helps pave the way for where we're going, right? So that way you kind of have a plan. It can be soft. It can be kind of flexible. But if we don't have any plan, <laughs> we, can, we can waste a lot of time, right? It, it might be fun in the moment, but like five years later, you're still like, whoa, what have I accomplished in the last five years? Huh, not much. <laughs> so Aries, that's not you. I know that's not you. But so this is just an uh, this is just an invitation for you to really just continue in your flow of being the leader in your reality. And maybe you're going to be a leader in a different, different realm. Who knows? Because you will be meeting some new people. And it could be maybe you're leading a family. It could be you're stepping into a new role in your family as a father, as a mother. As, so that takes some honing. You know what I mean? Those are different life skills. So that could be very exciting, challenging, and scary. But you can do it, Aries. I know you can do it. All right. Well, you have a beautiful weekend. Let me know who you meet. Some yummy, yummy energy to just delight your heart. And um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.